Welcome to On Your Spot. I'm your host, Norman Graham. We have Saquon Jones in the middle. Richard Gray on the far side. We have another week of the police choking out New York City uh, people as a whole. Let's call it as a whole. The whole city. They, they choking everybody out. They choking them they out. They choking everybody out. That's what they doing. Allegedly. Right? <laughs> That's what they say. Allegedly. That's what they choke. So nobody resisting. Everybody so resisting. So the man, the man on Malcolm X rolling a joint in front of his house. Uh, resisting. Resisting arrest. Yes. He don't deserve to get choked out. Do we? I'm asking you. Because, no. I mean, no. apparently, we want anarchy in this city. No. So. He resisted. He's resisting. He so resisted. does he get to get choked out? We want the police to do their job without choking anyone. Can How, we get that? Can we get that? Without? How are you... He Boy, sounds like a Republican. He swear he's not. But I'm this not is, a Republican. Let's, let's man, hear it. But but, this is crazy, man. Like but, I just, I just sit back. And but is, is it okay to choke him out? Scream, brim, brimstone, and fire, and the man is clearly resisting. On my, uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's switch it. I'm sorry. He didn't choke him out. He stomped him in the head. At the, at the end, because no, his, the choking was never part part of the subject. It wasn't a choking issue. He stomped him in the head. Now he stomped him in the head yeah. after. He was resisting arrest. Now, the stomp in the head was not necessary, obviously. I do agree with you on that end. But when you are having your emotions run as high as they are at that particular situation, um, he let his emotions get a, get the best of him. Um, and you, what you're trying to say in this heightened... It's like, it's like Ray Rice, right? The NFL promotes a violent sport, and I love the violence of the NFL. And everything about his profession promotes violence. And then as soon as you put him in a situation that, um, that, that, that may sort of get him back on that football field, mm -hmm. the world goes crazy on him. Not realizing that he's conditioned to be violent. And these police officers, their training is conditioned to uphold law and what order by violence? any means necessary. And then, because he walked away, and you're telling him that as soon as he walked away, this man is resisting arrest, that he's supposed to be able to turn off his emotions Several hundred as a thousand human being. people just came from Iraq and Afghanistan. Should they be shooting up the community? And they have post-traumatic st stress and, and all and the they time. Do, but that don't make it Listen, right. Listen, we're on the same page here. I'm, you're just, you're, I'm just giving you the, an idea on how... We as citizens run high with emotions. I'm not saying that Ray Rice or this police officer were right. They're totally wrong. Okay. They are absolutely wrong in what their actions are. But when you are in a high pressure, very physical um, occupation, the idea that we are looking at these men to control themselves at the split second it's just unrealistic. Rich, it's wrong. Rich, but incident. but but we that it's unrealistic to think that we can have have somebody to shut their feelings down the same way we ask somebody you, coming from Iraq to shut theirs down. You make a valid point, but what I would say to that is more more than that is important because of the fact that say they don't have to rein in the emotions. When do we take a look at it when somebody? dies because that's what's ultimately going to happen. Rich, He's I agree. Not, he, he doesn't have to be in check of his emotions at all, according to you. Because no, he he's does. in a high stress job. He does. His job is he high does. stress, so he doesn't have he to does. really because that's a part of the job. So mm -hmm. how far do you let him go? I'm not saying he should not go far at all. I'm What I continuously say in every one of these situations is that um, I'm, we're on the same we're in the same boat here. I'm just trying to, to, to provide a human element towards this situation. Um, You're asking this man to turn off his testosterone or... or, or he or receives the, extensive training to better, control listen, these let things. Me, no, no, First no, of all, let's be clear. And I don't want to disrespect... In service I don't training, dis annual he, he was, training, I don't uh, academy disrespect. training, I don't, psychological he training, he physical order. training, firearms training. Now, when let's does that clear. come into play? I'm when do you use that? I don't want to disrespect both of you guys as law enforcement, but... Outside of you fantastic officers, the cop is the last straw job. You know what I mean? Like, no, explain you know, it. you explain don't, it. you're no, not. No, no, he's, you're having, he's a Wall Street guy. And so you, no, you, I want, listen, I want his tip. I, I, I had, listen, I mean, I, you don't, I, just now, 
You didn't require a tremendous amount of training. You didn't they require any had. education. They always had. You mean no, no, no. They, they just well? had, yeah, police officers are correct. You didn't have to get in. You just now had to start to get at least two years of college or military experience. No, you no, no. You're mistaken. Like, you're but, mistaken when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, I'm just saying that like, your ass is just training. The, the no, fact that that's not what he's men, doing. He's, he's been down this road. These so you're men saying are, that unless these you men get, are drones. Unless you get you college know. education, you're not smart enough. No, that's what you're saying. I'm not saying. The academy that teaches us what asking, we need to know about law enforcement means nothing I'm unless saying you are that, university that trained. That police officers. Yeah, that's what, he that's what he's saying. Uh, police officers, if you want to be a cop. You, that's your last straw in life, really. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're asking, we're asking these last straw individuals oh, to make that's us, no, educated and, 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 and non-emotional decisions. And this is what you get when you just say, you know oh. what? I'm gonna advertise on Hot 97, and if you don't got a job, you please take this 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 police test, and we'll give you a job, and you can retire at tw in 20 years. You that's, and this is the caliber of people that you get. Really? And absolutely. And, absolutely. And, absolutely. And, and, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, so but, but you have absolutely. a really negative view of your they, police force. I have a They're terrible. They're a bunch of dummies. I have they, they, that they, don't, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they are, don't know much of they, anything. No, because they, they, people up because, because, because they Cops went into, are stupid. Oh, dumb, dumb. I disagree. People. And, and that you're telling me that we expect these ignorant, non-educated, barely educated individuals. You don't believe that there's people in, 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 in the police force that have college degrees? Yeah, you don't yeah, think some. anybody went and to those are the people the who, And that's, so those are the people who just, you know, couldn't find a job being, they you have know, a liberal arts degree and no, that's what they, 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 they had no choice. That's what they chose to do. All right, well, if you think that you choose to put yourself in the line of fire with it, when you have other options, then yeah, I have a, a great deal of, they they have have a great a deal of law enforcement too. leave and become attorneys in a variety because they have them degrees. That's few. They, that's, they, that's the few. That's the they few. They chose to go that that's route. Exception. That's not the rule. They chose to go that route. Right. But it now, might actually be a smart decision considering the economy and what a cop makes coming out of the academy. And you prove, and, and you prove and, 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 and you prove that I'm going to get the same money that I've gotten. And you're going to retire. And you prove my point. And when you retire. And you prove my point. When you retire. And you prove my point. When you retire. And you prove my point. When you retire. By saying. Uh, this is the job that I take. It's okay, but let's let's let's, oh, let's not go back. Let's you go weigh back. your options and 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 economically right, well, find let's, it let's, to be let's, a better choice than college. What's wrong with that? The bottom line is the man kicked him in the head. The man was out of order. You let rolling up a joint in front of your house take you to the point that you might go to jail. You might get indicted and everything. You lost it all. Bear in mind as you listen to the tape, this guy. Was the guy that was recording was telling him, mm -hmm. I got you, I'm telling you, before he kicked him. So you were so far out of order, and your emotions was running so high, you lost it. Bear in mind, I think I said the week before, that usually you don't see cops of color doing stupid stuff like that, and this is why. Because the blue wall of silence won't work for him. He kicked the cop, he kicked the, the guy Cuffy. Not only did you kick him, the sergeant was holding him. The sergeant was like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. The sergeant was holding him. Totally inappropriate. You walked up the hill, you went down the street, and you let it come back and you kicked him in the I'm going to say this. Uh -huh. Our friend, Mr. Jones, yes. he's not going to understand <laughs> until he gets kicked in the head. Yes. Then he's going to cry for I, justice. I, this, we're going to cry. And the we're going to close. Well, only then, be, only then will they be um, accountable when he gets kicked in the head. We're going to close this segment out. We're going to come back with a uh, young lady, Miss Miller, who was pregnant. And we went to her press conference with Charles Barron, and we'll be right back after this message. We're back. Saquon Jones and Richie Gray is here. Next subject, Miss Miller. She was seven months pregnant. Over the weekend, she got choked. Allegedly, <laughs> once again. Allegedly. Allegedly. By trying to have a cookout at her house, 70, uh, 75th Precinct. Charles Barron had her on the news. I don't know what to say about this. We just covered the press conference, and we'll show that in a second. But um, Charles Barron, she went to Charles Barron's office. The uh, boyfriend, I believe, got his elbow dislocated. And, again, we have that little issue here. I, I see a tremendous amount of police brutality, and what, what, what scares me 100% uh, of the time is that you have these men willing to put their hands on women. And, and that really is ridiculous. The amount of YouTube videos where you see these cops who are 
hand like most of the time they don't really handle the women at the end of the day. Most seven of the time, the pregnant. women seven months pregnant is a dip. But the the fact that these cops have no um, no reservations about putting their hands on women is as is is another reason why I keep telling everybody, listen, you comply. You really think that you have a win against an individual who is willing to put his hands on a pregnant woman, then you have another thing coming to you. And you cannot be in a situation where a man who is willing to go that far with a gun is is part of it. You got to learn when to fight and when to just yes, comply. The officers went into the house uh, without warrant also. Rich, your take on this subject? The same woman, the Miller woman? Yes. They went into the house without warrant. Well, what he said is is partially true that there are a lot of officers out there that, that don't have any reservations about anything, regardless woman, child, or whatever. But, but I mean, that's the, that's the level. That is like the lowest level that you can get. You understand? Like, if you're willing I, to put your hands on a, a woman who is pregnant, then you have to understand a 17 year old black. Job, the job dictates that you. You're physical. It's physical. <laughs> I and just he, said that in the last segment, and no, you said no, no, no. that they were supposed no, no, no. to be. They there's, supposed to have their training. There's, there's Are you kidding me? There's restraint. Uh, Everybody yeah, has to yeah, show right, restraint. Right, right, Everybody right. has to show <laughs> restraint. <laughs> now, because she's pregnant, does she get away with doing whatever she wants? Or does he? Absolutely, she gets a, really? at least a pass if really? you're pregnant. What if she Listen. has a gun and she's pregnant? That did, pregnant well, women don't carry weapons. I'm not they don't have that. knives or straight razors. Listen, you have to I said this in the, sides, I so. said this in in the last segment about how we're expecting these individuals to make life or death decisions, and they're not trained educationally to make these life or death situations. And now and, you, and school, and you yelled at me, you yelled at me for not adhering to that. And now in this segment, you're telling me that he's supposed to have the right to put his hand on a pregnant woman. Because he doesn't know if she's on the net? What you're you proposing is a police state where the police I'm not run them up that. and I'm do what they want that. and we clean it up after. That's what you said, my friend. I you said, said the police well, we shouldn't be held accountable because people should know better, yada, yada. Am I wrong? I That's am what you're saying. saying that what, at what point do we hold the cop accountable if you are resisting the rest? Okay, the story was that it was something that started with a cookout. A cookout, yeah. That's her, the story. Yeah. A cookout led to um, they being arrested. You have to realize now, that behind every police action, from what I understand, there's a law. So they're not just walking up in somebody's house and saying, put that chicken down, get over here. <laughs> there's a law. They don't go in say, unless there's a we, law. We, we are hoping they go have the cook cookout uh, on the outside of our house. Whatever it is, there's a city ordinance, yeah, something. Of course, they, of they're, not gonna, they're not as stupid as you think they are. They, they, oh, they're <laughs> stupid. Believe me. Well, that's, a, point, that's every, an opinion. I, I think that law enforcement is absolutely the last straw. I used to fight, right? Where I used do to box. Work, sir? I used to. What I'm do not, you do I'm for a living? I'm, I'm, I'm curious. He, 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 you uh, know what we do for a living. <laughs> <laughs> you know. He's a great Wall Street right. guy. What, what, what do you do? I, I work in finance. Okay. All right. Does everybody think like you down there? Absolutely. Do they do think that way? Yes. They wow. Do. They do. You got. I've learned something today. Yeah. So I'm I'm just I'm just letting you know that you're asking for a lot for a person who who just five years ago or seven years ago didn't have to get a college education to get that job. Mm. And and I mean they, we want a police force that is not smart because if we have Why? Wait, wait, who said that? Who, because if you don't have an if you have an uneducated police force then you yeah, are. Yeah, then, yeah. I'm, let me explain that. Let me explain why we want an, uh, an, undereducate, an undereducated police force. Under. The the smarter your soldiers are, the less likely they're going to take direction. Mm, I could agree so with that. So if you that are, if true. you're going to tell me that, that you want true. this police force of smart people, then they're not going to work for law enforcement because they don't want to. They they know that they're not going to deal with this. You want a person who is. Who is minimally educated so that they can rely on this 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 job, and Something and like and soldiers, right? Like soldiers, like, but they like are ground soldiers. soldiers like, they are soldiers. Like they are they foot soldiers. The That's line. it. They're they're foot soldiers, and they are just they are, they are told to take direction. And the smarter you are, the less direction you're willing to take. And okay, and this is what we get. so how does a person as a patrolman? Wind up being the chief of the department or the commissioner. Is he they're he's very a dumbass first of all, that, that first of all, running the, every, that dumbass is running the department. For, for, for every chief of police, there's at least 
of 5,000 people who are willing to stay on the beach for their whole career. So uh, you're no, actually that's, you're, that's not true. They're testing the test wherever they're coming in at on the test. It's a different story. Well, they're moving up the ranks. Doing well. Well, 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 well,